One of the most frequent questions that we get is really, how can I grow my brand fast? How can I build it as quickly as possible? How can I bring on a distributor and a retailer and get in Costco and Walmart? From our experience being in the industry for 30 years, the biggest failure comes for products that grow too fast. And if you speak to an experienced entrepreneur in the product space, they're going to tell you exactly why. Because when you grow too fast, you take on debt. And when you take on debt, you have responsibilities that sometimes are not met because of things out of your locus of control. So if something happens where you have a product recall, you have a bad battery or you have salmonella in your ingredients, you're going to have to recall the products. You're not going to be able to cover the cost to pay the recall fees to ship the product back or dispose of the product and to handle you know, bringing new product on that doesn't have that problem and bring it back to the stores getting approved. There's a lot of issues there. So being prepared for those eventualities, it's better to grow slowly, build an inventory, build a book of business and have those relationships so that you're prepared for those eventualities because whenever you grow, you're gonna run into problems. Um, mostly the problems come with logistics, with distribution and with larger retailers. So if you're selling locally, if you're working with small local stores, if you're growing your book of business, there's not too many things that could go wrong that you can't recover from because you're gonna be you know, putting a face to the name. You're gonna be in the stores, understanding what's going on you're not going to be caught off guard. Um, one situation that we had was with Dollar General, where we had a product being shipped into the stores and it wasn't being distributed. It was being shipped directly to the stores and it wasn't being shipped with detailed information about where it should be on the shelf. So a lot of the times the product was just found under the counter or in the back and the merchandising team couldn't even find it because the retailer didn't know it was there. So knowing those things ahead of time, growing small, understanding the logistics of how to get the product in the store, how to get the product to move off the shelf, what kind of marketing works, you know, that all has to be learned over time. There's really no fast track there. But one thing that you can do to really speed up the process is understanding your client and preparing for that success as far as building margin into your product. The one of the biggest killers when growing a brand is that, you know, you start at $3, but then you have to bump it up to 350 because of the slotting fees or because of the distributor cost. And then you have to bump it up to $4 because um, of the returns that are coming in. And now you're sitting at, you know, a 25% increase over your original price. You're probably selling 50% less. And then you get dropped, bringing on more fees. So knowing these things ahead of time, pricing your product right the first time around is going to allow you to be successful. While you may not sell as many units, you're going to go into that making sure everybody's making money, making sure that you're prepared for brokerage fees and logistic fees, returns, slotting fees, all of these little incremental changes that will be added along the way as your product grows so that you're not caught off guard and your product doesn't suffer. And at the end of the day, the reputation of the brand, because once you get dropped from a retailer, it's very hard to get back on the shelf. So knowing these things ahead of time, preparing for the eventualities. Every product is different. Every retailer is different, but doing that research will get you to the end goal faster.